Here we have a British Triumph Bonneville, uh, our own, very own Route 21 Bonneville. No, we didn't spray her in these colors. They just happen to be my two favorite colors. And this is a very special Bonneville, a limited edition. But we're en route to Triumph South Africa and we will share the Bonneville story with you when we get there. We're here at Triumph South Africa and we brought our very own Bonneville T214, put her amongst the other Bonneville in the series and thought we'd share with you the Bonneville story. Triumph is one of the oldest and longest surviving British motorcycle manufacturer and also the model, the Bonneville, is also one of the models that has the longest surviving heritage or continuation. It has nearly been produced continuously since 1954. However, short little gaps in between, so we call it three different generation. The original Bonneville was launched in 1959 as a T120, which was actually a 650cc motor, air-cooled. And then as time went on, that became a T140. And the T140 became a slightly bigger motor at 750cc, originally 724, then 744cc. And as time went on into the 70s, the drum brakes were replaced for disc brakes. And even to the 80s, it was then electric start. Now, that was the first generation. And as the closure of that uh, Triumph Motorcycles Maryland uh, plant closed down and wound down in 1983, the company Triumph Motorcycles was then bought by a businessman by the name of John Bluer. He then relaunched what we call a continuation Bonneville between 1985 and 1988. And then again it disappeared but was relaunched as a completely redesigned motorcycle in the, I think it was September of 2001 as a 790cc. And uh, that is the third generation which still continues today. Now completely redesigned but true to the original, paying homage to the original and from 790cc from about 2005, it then became the 865 air-cooled CC up until 2015. And this being the last of that, this being a 2015 model, 865 CC air-cooled motor. Now, through this third generation, it also evolved uh, from the original one, then it became a T100, then later a T120. The T120 today is a liquid-cooled 1200 CC. And as of 2016, the year after this particular model in front of me, all of them became liquid-cooled. Even the T100 was up from an 865 air-cooled to a 900 liquid-cooled. And the T120 is, as it is, a 1200cc liquid-cooled. So, just to recap, three generations, 1959 to 1983 in Maryland, then the continuation from 85 to 88, and then the final generation from 2001 to present where it is today. But we're going to focus on this particular bike in front of me here, which is the Bonneville T214. Now that number doesn't fit into the range anywhere, but that's where we're going with this. Starting off the Bonneville name. Where did it get the Bonneville name? That name Bonneville harks back to Bonneville Salt Flats in America where all the manufacturers, including Triumph, went and tried to uh, conquer the land speed record for motorcycles. And actually, in, as it says over here, September 1956, a chap by the name of Allen, uh, Johnny Allen had a, manufactured himself a streamliner powered by a Triumph motor. And he then acquired the land speed record in September 1956 with his streamliner and he attained a top speed of 214.4 mile an hour. That 
is the equivalent of 345 kilometers per hour, and that record stood from 1956 to 1962 when it was beaten. So that's where the Bonneville name came from. Very important, one of the most important milestones for Triumph in the history. Now, this bike pays homage to that event and that cigar car. Now, the color scheme is as per this cigar car. And if you look closely, it's often referred to as the Captain America motorcycle because of the iconic blue front mud guard with the white star. But if you look closely at actually, it is known as the Texan cigar car, uh, bike, Texan cigar. And you will see the Texan connection with a color scheme. Now, the color scheme of this bike, it is a limited production bike, hand-painted job in a pure white with a Caspian blue with the black pinstriping. Limited edition because only 1,000 were produced. Each one has a number on this plaque on top here by the clamp. It's called Bonneville T214214 coming from the top speed attained. And this bike is number 254. Now, you will see as per the cigar car or cigar bike, it has the blue nose cone in front with a white star, and therefore you have the blue front mudguard with the white star. You have the blue going with the blue pinstriping to the back, the pure white, and over here you have the red and white check as per the fins at the back of the cigar. Also, what's really cool about this bike, on the tank, under the clear coat, you have the outline of the Texan cigar, giving you all the detail, world's fastest motorcycle, Triumph 214.4 mile per hour, Johnny Allen, Streamliner, Bonneville, Utah, September 1956. So this bike is a 2015 model. As mentioned before, 2015 was the last year this was produced as an air-cooled motor. It's a parallel twin, 865cc uh, twin, air-cooled paying homage to the original. You will see even with these pads on the side, very classic, very true to the original. Being the 865cc, it is based on the T100 uh, motor and spec and design. And then even more special to that, there was a very pretty T100 known as the black, T100 black. And what is with that bike, everything is blacked out, even the exhaust and that. So many cues on this bike are taken from the T100 black, like this motor is completely blacked out over here. Got the black handlebars, the mirrors are black, the headlight is black. However, they took away the black pipes and put that contrast of the chrome pipes. Two pipes out, one either side. And the contrast is real pretty with the chrome versus the black. So many cues on this bike make it very, very individual and very unique in its own way thousand produced. What we're going to look at is just what makes this bike different to a standard T100 and let's have a look at the basic specs of this bike. Right, as mentioned before, the rims front and back as per the T100 black, you've got the black channel with the chrome spokes, really nice offset. Front wheel is a 19 inch, quite a large wheel. The back is a 17 inch wheel. You have a single disc up front. You don't need the two brakes, it's not a super bike. The original 1959 was speed orientated. These Bonnevilles of today are more based on cruising. Now, going back again off the black, you've got the blackout engine, the original air-cooled 865cc double overhead cam, four-stroke motor, blackout. Um, this motor produces 68 horsepower as well as 68 newton meters. Not gonna break any land speed records. Then you have offset really nicely the two header pipes with the two cigar type exhaust either side in chrome. Also dual rear shock in black from the blackout either side. It is a wet clutch. This particular up until 2015 was still a five speed gearbox from 2016 became a six speed gearbox. So five speed gearbox, final drive, chain. Now other features that make it different to the standard T100 is the headlight in front, single headlight, is smaller than your standard T100, also blacked out. You've got your dual clock analog. On the Speedo, you've got a little digital display for minor info. 
black handlebars, black mirrors, everything blacked out, really neat and tidy. In the center, you have your Bonneville T214 with your number of it, this particular bike, 254. Only a thousand made, as mentioned. Real quirky, on the side of your bike over here on the left fork, you have your ignition key, pretty standard to the Bonnevilles. And then the other thing that makes this bike really unique, as mentioned, it is the one-off hand-painted job in the Johnny Allen Streamliner colors with a blue white star. The black pin striping is all done by hand. And if you lift the seat up, you actually see the initial on the bottom of the tank, PH, the gentleman who did the pin striping. Over here, as mentioned before, the name Bonneville T214, referring to the top speed achieved, that red and white check off the tail fin, off the streamliner, and your seat, really cool cue, the red stitching, picking up the red over here. All round, just a classic motorcycle, a very important milestone in the story of Triumph. Right, we brought our Bonneville here to Triumph South Africa because we wanted to show and share with you that the Bonneville story is strong and alive today. Uh, this being a 2015. On my right, we have a 2021 Speed Twin based on the Bonneville. Over here, we have a T120 2018 model. Now, moving over here, as mentioned, from 2016, this is a 2021, but it is now a 900, no longer air-cooled. This is just cosmetic. Up front is your radiator. Now, this Speed Twin, as it's named over here, Street Twin, sorry, is focused on speed, the racer. If we go over here on my left, this is a 2018. It is a T120, again, 1,200 cc, liquid cooled up front. These fins are purely cosmetic, paying homage to the original air-cooled ones. But here we have more the classic look, spoked wheels harking back to the old days. Now, the Bonneville story goes further than that. You even get scramblers, the high exhaust, and many, many more geysers. However, we at Route 21, we felt this is the last of the true Bonnevilles and a real special one for a couple of reasons. The one is it is the last of the true air-cooled motors. It also has the five-speed older look and feel. These newer ones are all six-speed. And the main fact being a limited edition and paying homage to one of the most important milestones in the history of Triumph, being that land speed record in the Triumph powered streamliner. Now, a big thumbs up to Triumph South Africa for giving us this opportunity, their space, their time. The guys here are super knowledgeable and the info we got from them today was just, I mean, it's infectious. You really get hooked to this brand with the, the, the info and the hospitality of these guys. And again, thank you very much, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this episode with us. Remember, give us a like and subscribe.